Hello and welcome. Today we will be moving through a mobility and agility flow. As always, please go at your own pace. Honor where your body is today. You can tow your edge, but try not to go past it. Really tune into your body and decide where that is. So today we're going to get started lying down. Come towards the middle of your mat. Find a lying down position. Lock your heels in towards your body so that your knees face up. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, as wide as your mat. Then let the knees fall in. Palms can be face down on your belly or face up next to your hips. Find a slow inhale in. Open mouth exhale. Find another inhale. Open mouth, release. <sighs> Begin to fall into natural rhythms of your breath. And if you would like to close your eyes, now is a great time to do so. Let your shoulders relax into your mat. Your hips heavy. Knees knock in, one supporting the other. Allow yourself this gentle space just to be and just to breathe. And slowly bring awareness to your hands. Turn them face down on your mat next to your hips. Separate your knees. Start to heel toe your feet in until your heels come roughly hip width and they settle underneath your knees. Press down into your mat with your feet. Feel your hamstrings engage and then slowly start to lift your hips to the sky as you move into bridge pose. Take another inhale. Exhale, hips down, knees to chest, palms to shins, lift your head and neck shoulders and squeeze in. As you start your inhale, lower your knees, lower your feet, palms down, lift your hips, finish your inhale. Exhale, hips down, knees to chest, lift your head and neck shoulders. One more, inhale, feet down, hips up. Exhale, hips down. Knees to chest, forehead to knees. This time, inhale, feet down, palms down, hips up. Stay here. As you exhale, move your hands into this goal pose shape, and they can be goal post with your knuckles flat on the ground, or they can be goal post with your fingertips face up. Take a breath in. As you exhale, reach your left hand over to the right. Keep your hips squared upwards as much as you can as your top shoulder twists. Inhale through center. Exhale, right hand reaches left. Inhale through center. Exhale. Reach right. One more. Inhale. Exhale. This time we continue. If you'd like to let your hips and knees and toes join in the movement, you can. Be sure that your toes move in the same direction as your knees. Keep on breathing. The next time you reach over towards the left, let that be your last time. Come back through center and lower your hips back down. Knees to chest. Start to rock and roll along the length of your spine. Gather up enough momentum to meet me in a seat with the soles of your feet together. Knees nice and wide in this butterfly legs or cobbler's pose. If you found that you shifted forward towards the top of your mat, come back a little bit so you're more in the center or even kind of towards the back of your mat. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, right hand down, left arm sweeps overhead. Find yourself in a side body stretch. Continue to let your knees relax down as much as you're able. 
And if you feel like you're very crunched in here and the knees are high, your chest is low, you can take a blanket or roll up your yoga mat right underneath the back of your hips just to elevate the hips a little bit, give a forward tilt of the pelvis. It'll help relieve some of that roundedness and that crunch in. Inhale, both hands high. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up overhead. Find yourself in your side body stretch. Let your knees relax as much as you can. Inhale, both arms reach up skyward. Exhale, reach forward. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching with your fingertips, with your crown, and then let yourself pour forward onto your mat, chin to chest to find some depth. Slowly begin to back out of this. From here, take a look at your feet, separate them about an inch or two apart, flex your toes, you're gonna to reach forward, and then use all your strength to help kind of pulsate yourself towards the top of your mat. We're here for three, stay or follow me in two. And one, next time you pulse forward, come onto your feet, lift your hips a little bit, come back down, we pulse again. So if you don't wanna do the lift up with the hips, just stay in this pulse. We're here for two. One, find your lift, and then lower. Here we go, we'll move through one more round. You pulse for three, two, one, come up, and then shift yourself into toe stand. Hands come to your heart space. Now if toe stand is a lot, especially starting a class off, you can always lower your knees down instead, come into this lightning bolt pose. If you'd like to keep the knees lifted, you'll stay here with me. Inhale slowly, palms reach to the sky. Exhale, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, extend through your knuckles, lift your chest up. Exhale, start to take your thumbs away from your lower back. Nice and slow, chin to chest. Roll your right ear towards your right shoulder. Chin back into chest, left ear to left shoulder. Chin to chest. Start to bring your gaze back on the horizon. Release your hands nice and slowly. Bring them to your chest. Take another inhale. Exhale forward, fold, lift your hips. Separate your feet, hip width apart. Let yourself come forward slightly. And weight is in the balls of your feet. And then bring your chin in towards your chest. Let yourself hang nice and heavy here. Come out of your generosity, palms will plant on the ground. Walk your feet back to find yourself in a downward facing dog. Gently begin to pedal out your feet here. Find some length in the backs of your legs. As you drop one heel towards your mat, bend into your opposite knee and then take it to the other side. Go nice and slow, really enjoy it. Strong press stays through your palm, through all 10 fingers, and then push a little more emphasis through your pointer finger and thumb. Find stillness, let both heels get nice and heavy towards your mat. And if a soft bend in your knees helps to keep your hips moving skyward, keep the soft bend. Inhale, shift forward, find high plank, shoulders over wrists, heels will be over the balls of your feet. Take another inhale, reach forward with your heart. Exhale, slowly start to bend into your elbows as you move through Chaturanga. You'll hold when you'll get either a quarter or halfway down. Option to bring your knees down for a little bit of support. Keep your belly in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Chaturanga. One more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, Chaturanga. And come all the way onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Feel your kneecaps lift. Inhale. Lift your nose, lift your chest, shoulders. Find yourself in low cobra. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, peel, lift, rise up low cobra. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift head, neck, shoulders, lift your palms, lift your toes. Find a hold right here. One more inhale. Exhale to lower. Tent your fingertips wide on the outskirts of your mat as you tilt your elbows up. 
Inhale, lift head, neck, and shoulders. Exhale, left shoulder dips down, gaze to your right. Inhale through center. Exhale, right shoulder down, gaze left. Inhale, center. Exhale, left shoulder down. Inhale, center. Exhale, right shoulder down. Inhale, center. Exhale, stay. Can you push down into the tops of your feet? Feel your kneecaps lift. Push your pelvis into the earth. Feel the core engage. And then lift your hands off of the mat. Beautiful. Stay or let your palms plant next to your top ribs. Push down into your palms to feel everything else lift off of the mat as you maintain your back bend for upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your knees or your toes. Find yourself in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, sweep your right leg up high. Find three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. Close the space between your right heel and your left glute. Start to come onto the ball of your left foot as you really reach your right knee up as high as you can to the sky. Take another inhale. Exhale, sweep knee underneath your body and over towards your left tricep. Squeeze your core. Inhale, keep the knee bent. Lift up, find a bent leg, one-legged dog. Exhale. Come on over and twist. One more, inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Hold here in your twist. Take an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to chest and step or walk your foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down to the ground. Inhale, palms, chest, rise to the sky. Find your low lunge. Push down into the mat with your right foot like you want to traction your right heel back in space. Push your left knee down like you want to send it forward. Feel your inner thighs zip in together. Take another breath in. Exhale, palms touch, bend into your elbows. Gently press the back of your head into your forearms. Keep the core engaged in this small back bend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, send your palms behind you, knuckle face up as your hips reach towards the back of your mat and you flex your right toes towards the sky. Turbo your half splits. You're welcome to keep a gentle bend in your right knee just to relieve any, ooh, any overextension, hyperextension in the front leg or if the hamstring still feels a little tight. Inhale, slide it forward, arms up, find your lunge. Exhale, palms down to frame your foot. Back toes under, float the knee. Step back, find yourself in high plank. Take an inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest up, yogi's choice, up dog or low cobra. Exhale, hips will move skyward. Find yourself in downward facing tog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, sweep your left leg high, find three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, and rise high onto the ball of your right foot. Inhale, can you reach the knee a little higher? Exhale, sweep, knee underneath your body, let it tap your right tricep. Inhale, open your hip, keep the bend in your knee. Exhale, cross and tap. One more, inhale, bent leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross and tap, hold here, take an inhale. Exhale, find a chaturanga. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to chest, step or walk through, back knee down. Inhale, palms, chest to the sky. Find yourself in your low lunge. What a flow to start class off with. So find that activity in your lower body, that push down, that pull in, hug in with your core. Big inhale, reach. Exhale, palms touch, bend into your elbows, gentle press of head into your forearms as you continue to lift the chest up. Inhale, palms to the sky. Exhale, turbo your half splits. Sweep your palms behind you. Knuckles face up, hips reach towards the back of the mat. As your left toes flick to the sky, have them in a flex. Maybe you keep a gentle bend in your left knee. Inhale, slide it forward for lunge, palms overhead. Exhale, hands down, frame your foot. Back toes under, float the knees, step back, high or half plank. Inhale, reach with your chest. Exhale, bend your elbows, find yourself in chaturanga, shoulders back. Inhale, lift your chest, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go high. Find yourself in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. One more inhale. Open mouth. 
Bring your gaze to the top of your mat. Take a nice big step to meet in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold in. One more inhale. Exhale. Sink your hips far behind you as you bend your knees. Inhale, palms, chest, rise to the sky. Find yourself in chair. Exhale, can you sink a little deeper? Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, right hand sweeps behind you. Left hand forward as you twist your chest to the right. Keep your core in. Can you keep your hips squared forward? Now, if this bothers your lower back, even your sacral area, you can unsquare your hips and bring them with you in the twist. You decide what works for you. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, twist to the left. So try to keep your hips squared forward. If this is very uncomfortable in your back, you can let the hips come with you. This time, inhale, arms up, lengthen your legs, find tall mountain. Exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, lengthen through center. Exhale, swan dive forward, find yourself in forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down, palms to your mat, step it back, high plank. Take an inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, move through chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go high, find yourself in downward facing dog. Take an inhale, open mouth. Inhale, sweep your right leg high, find three-legged dog. Exhale, knee into chest, nose to knee. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step or walk your foot in between your hands. Stay strong in your legs. Inhale, palms, chest rise up. Find yourself in high lunge. Now, if your left hip flexors still feel a little short, gentle bend in your back knee. This will help you to bring a small tilt under of your pelvis, engage through your lower belly, and relieve some of the tension that might still be in your left hip flexors. But if you're ready to keep the leg nice and long, squeeze into the bottom of your left glute and feel the length in your back leg. One more inhale. Exhale, arms split open as you turn your chest to the right. Find yourself in your twist in your high lunge. Take an inhale, lengthen through your crown. Exhale, use your core, twist a little deeper, incredible. Take a big inhale, stay for your exhale. Inhale, warrior two, arms sweep forward and open as your back heel meets your mat. Left leg is long, generous bend stays in your right leg. Can you keep your knee over top your ankle or the middle of your foot? Push down into both your feet, squeeze your heels in and feel your legs light up. You're here for an inhale. Exhale, palms come down to frame your foot. Step back, high half or one-legged plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go high, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, sweep your left leg high, find three-legged dog. Exhale, knee into chest, nose to knee, find your strength. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step or walk through. Inhale, rise strong. Find yourself in your high lunge. So decide if that back knee supports you here, or if you would rather keep the leg long. Totally depends on you and how you feel. But wherever you are, do your best to get that pull in of your low belly. Find your strength right there. Take an inhale, exhale, arms split, twist your body towards the left. Maintain your legs, arms reach away from each other. Inhale, lengthen through your crown. Exhale, use your core, maybe you go a little deeper into your twist. Stay for another inhale, stay for an exhale. Inhale, warrior two, back heel swivels down. Maybe you widen your stance a little bit. Right leg is long, generous bend stays in your left knee. Arms long on the horizon and shoulders, just kind of let them be on your back body. Let them relax. Take another inhale. Exhale, hands down to frame your foot. Step back, high half or one-legged plank. Move through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, sweep your right leg up high, find three-legged dog. 
exhale, cross and tap, knee over towards your left tricep. Stay for an inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to chest, step or walk through. Inhale, rise up, find yourself in your lunge. Exhale to twist, arms on the horizon, chest towards the right. We change. Inhale, exalt your lunge. Lift your left arm up. Maybe your right fingertips can meet your back leg. If not in there in space, hey, that's okay. Still do your best and journey through and to the pose, whatever that looks like today. One more inhale. Exhale, you'll stay in your twist, hands to heart. Start to tap either your left elbow on the top of your right thigh or on your outer right thigh. So check in with your lower back again. If it starts to hurt or doesn't feel that great, bring your hips with you. I know this kind of pulls you out of that traditional alignment, but you don't want to pull on your SI joint, the sacroiliac joint, where the sacrum meets the pelvis. When you pull on those ligaments, it can cause quite a lot of back pain. So you're here, you keep your low belly in, keep your belly off the top of your thigh, find all of your strength here. Maybe you stay, maybe you open your arms, maybe you work on a half bind. Right arm reaches behind you, knuckles can rest on your outer left hip. Maybe you reach the left arm underneath the outer part of your right leg and try to meet your fingertips underneath. If you work on the bind, keep your chest open. Start to unwind, hands will come to heart. Stay in your twist. Inhale, start to lift your chest up, shoulders over hips. As you exhale, bring your chest forward, left knee into chest, and then twist your body all the way to the left. We'll move with breath. Inhale, left toes behind you, twist yourself right. Exhale, knee into chest, twist yourself left. Inhale, find your lunge. Exhale, left knee to chest and twist, hold. Option to stay, or you can lower your right hand to your outer left thigh, reach your left hand behind you. Now this time we have a little bit of leverage, your right hand on your outer left thigh to find yourself in your twist, but still use your core to find depth and let this right hand just be a help. Stay or let your palm travel to the outer part of your left foot and then lengthen your heel towards the top of your mat. Maybe your knee stays bent and that is okay. Now, if your leg is long, keep it long. If the knee is in your chest, hold it in your chest. Start to release your grip. Inhale, palms up, chest forward. Exhale, toes touch, hands to heart. Sink your hips back in space. Find yourself in chair pose. Inhale, lengthen through your crown. Exhale, sink a little lower. Take an inhale. Exhale, we twist again. Come on over to the right. Left elbow meets either the crease in between your knees or on your outer right leg. It helps if you get your hips lower, but it puts a lot of work in the quads. Stay or you can work on your open arms. You can work on your half bind or in your full bind, but your left arm will come in between your legs as you reach for your right fingertips on your outer left hip. If you'd like to work on side crow, extend your palms straight out and away from you. Your left tricep stays on your outer right leg. Palms come down. Maybe you keep your hip off of this left or this right arm rather, as you start to lift your toes off of the ground. Maybe you split your legs in space. You choose, Yogi. This is your class. You get to decide. Wherever you are, you practice for four. Find twisted chair in three, two, one. Inhale, lift all the way up. Find tall mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step it back for higher half plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, hips go high. Find yourself in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, tap and cross, knee over towards your right tricep. Take an inhale, 
exhale chaturanga inhale lift up exhale knee to chest and step or walk through inhale rise tall find yourself back in your high lunge exhale twist body turns towards your left and your fingertips reach away inhale exalt your lunge right arm goes high left hand reaches back or maybe it gently taps your back leg if your fingertips do tap your back leg try not to press your hand down let it be nice and light beautiful take another breath in exhale maintain your twist hands to heart right elbow will tap the top of your left thigh or tricep will meet your outer thigh you got this so keep your core engaged here pull in with your belly stay off the top of your thigh decide with your lower back if you need your hips to come with you in the twist or if you keep them squared down stay as you are or open your arms work on a half bind or work on your full bind so you go and decide exactly what works for you today it's just you and your mat you and your journey there's no right or wrong just what is so if you are in any variation with your arms start to bring your hands back to heart space Ooh, and find your balance too friends I am all over the place when you're ready, inhale, maintain your twist, lift your chest up, shoulders over your hips. As you exhale, right knee into chest, twist your upper body towards the right. We go slow. Inhale, right toes back, twist left. Exhale, knee to chest, twist right. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Stay here. Pause or left hand to outer right leg right hand reaches behind you maybe your gaze travels with your right hand so stay active in your twist use your core to find a little more depth and then if you want to use your hand on your outer leg for a little bit of leverage it is there for you stay or let your left hand travel to your outer right leg and maybe you start to lengthen your heel towards the top of your mat If your leg is extended, keep it extended. If your knee's into chest, hold it there. Release your grip, inhale, arms up, chest up. Exhale, toes touch, palms touch, send your hips back in space. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, sink your hips. One more inhale. Exhale, twist left, right elbow meets the crease of your knees or comes to your outer left thigh. Hips go low and use your core always use your core stay open your arms work on that half bind or the full bind right arm goes in between the legs or practice your side crow so right tricep meets your outer left leg palms go straight away from you keep the left tricep free you'll start to lower your upper body as you lift your legs off the ground maybe straighten your legs split them in space and if you fall don't worry it's part of the journey it's where you learn ah <sighs> wherever you are you practice for four meet in twisted chair in three in two one fine twisted chair inhale reach up lengthen tall mountain exhale find your forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale hands down take it back find yourself in a high or a half plank and move through chaturanga inhale lift your chest upward dog or cobra exhale hips go high find yourself in downward facing dog take a breath in open mouth inhale sweep your right leg up high find three-legged dog exhale cross your knee under your body let it tap your left tricep stay or we'll work on fallen angel to come into fallen angel you can see me walking my hands in I need to shorten my distance a little bit bring my palms a little bit closer to me you'll start to bend your elbows chaturanga arms and it's like you want to come into side crow so your outer right leg is going to go as high as it possibly can on your left arm keep this right arm free you'll slowly start to bring your head down and maybe lift your legs up now 
for me on this side, I'm not strong with it. I'm much more stronger on the other side. So I'll walk you through it again. Since this side, it's gonna be difficult for me to demo for you. So you find your twist, you bend your elbows. You get your right thigh as high as you can on your left arm. Keep the right leg free. Maybe you move into your side crow. You lift and you split your legs. From your side crow when you're ready, you'll lower the side of your head down and you won't have a lot of weight there. It's just a point of contact. You'll use your core to twist your legs up so that they face up high towards the sky. That's your fallen angel pose. Now, like I mentioned, this is not my strong side. This is one I unfortunately will not be able to demo on this side for you. But when we get to the other side, I can demo it. And if you wanna come back to your right side, you're more than welcome to. From your fallen angel, you'll slowly gently come out of it. Inhale, find your three-legged dog. Exhale, step wide, right foot lands on the outside of your right hand. Lower your left knee down. You'll find yourself in this wide-legged lunge, and then I want you to flex your right toes, make sure toes and knees are in line with each other, and turn your leg out just a little bit. Take right hand to the top of your thigh. Apply gentle pressure as you twist your chest open. Maintain this openness with your right leg, lower your palms down, and then tent your fingertips. Back toes are under, take an inhale. Exhale, float your knee, keep your right toes flexed as you shift your hips to square forward in this elongated pyramid pose variation. Inhale, back knee down, keep right leg open, chest twist towards the right. Exhale, lift your hips, hips square forward. Inhale, find that lunge twist. Exhale to lift. Inhale, find lunge twist, and this time as you exhale, palms down, heel toe your right foot over towards the left. We will meet in pigeon pose. Before you get too comfortable in your half pigeon, you'll uncurl your back toes. Make sure you have a number seven with the legs, and if your top leg is not at 90 degrees, please point into your right toes and press the top of your foot down. All right, squeeze in, hands behind your head. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower only as far as you can go. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. This time, exhale, lower all the way down. Rest heavy in your pigeon. Both sides of your hips get nice and heavy towards your mat. If you have blocks and want to use them here, place one underneath your right hip, maybe one underneath the top of your left thigh or underneath your forehead to find a few rounds of breath. Slowly press into your palms as you lift your chest. Back toes under, float your knee. Inhale, send your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, and maybe flip into wild thing, dancer's bridge. Slowly return, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, cross left knee over to right tricep. So to get into your fallen angel, find your chaturanga arms as you lower the outer part of your left thigh as high as you can on your right arm. From here, maybe, and you keep this left arm free, you come into your split leg side crow. For fallen angel, side of your head comes down. You twist your legs up as high as you can to the sky. And then when you come out, you slowly come out. So I'll give you a few breaths to practice that. So this is not a pose I do very often, if you can't tell. My legs don't go straight up like you see in some of the photos. So you really have to use your 
core to help lift your legs and get them in that straight up position. The side of your head is a point of contact. There really should not be a lot of weight. Slowly come out of your fallen angel. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step wide. Left foot lands on your outer left hand. Lower your back knee down. So flex into your left toes, turn them slightly out, and let your knee follow your toes. From here, take your left hand to the top of your leg. Apply very gentle pressure as you start to twist your chest open. Then unwind, palms down, tent into your fingertips, back toes under, take an inhale. Exhale, float your back knee, square your hips forward, keep your left toes flexed. Inhale, back knee down, Just maintain your lunge twist, look to the left. Exhale, back knee up, square your hips forward. One more, inhale, lower lunge, chest will twist. Exhale, hips up. Inhale, lower to lunge. And exhale, we'll start to heel toe, left foot over towards the right, move into your half pigeon, uncurl your back toes, push down to kind of feel everything lift up just a little bit. Hands behind your head, take a breath in, exhale to lower, inhale lift, exhale lower, inhale lift one more, exhale lower, inhale lift up, release your hands, exhale fold, find your depth in your pigeon pose. Breathe gentle. Breathe slow. Begin to press to your palms as you lift your chest. Back toes under, float your knee. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Maybe flip your dog, find wild thing, dancer's bridge, if that calls to you in this moment. Then slowly return, downward facing dog. Lower your knees to your mat, walk your palms in. Take your chest, your shoulders over your hips. So. I taught you the difficult way to come into Fallen Angel first. We start off hard and then we go easy. So if you would like to try Fallen Angel again, I'll show you another way to get into it. So an alternative way to come into your Fallen Angel is to instead start into a stand. So bring your toes underneath your hips, thighs, shins parallel to the ground, hands to your heart space. From here, you'll turn yourself over to your right and you'll hook your thigh as high as you can get it on your left arm. Now the right arm stays free, but that doesn't mean your arms are super wide. Your hands are still close together like in Chaturanga. You want to wrap the elbow in, but not have any weight on it so your hip is not resting on your outer arm. All right, you bring yourself down. From here, you can practice your side crow, you can split your legs, and from your split legs, your head comes down, use your core, twist, twist, twist your legs up as high as you can get them, and then you'll slowly lower. And then we practice on the other side. So this is my non-dominant side. Twist to the left, get the thigh as high as you can on your right arm. Left palm stays free. You begin to come down into your side crow, and maybe you split your legs. Head comes down, turn, 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 turn your legs up as high as you can, and slowly lower. I'll surprise myself. I did well on my non-dominant side. <laughs> so it's a tough one. It's not the easiest pose ever. And I definitely gave you a tutorial pretty fast. So if you wanna pause the video, try it a little slower, please go ahead. Remember, Fallen Angel is an arm balance, so your arms need to stay nice and strong and engaged, even on the arm that's free. You'll hug it in, but your hip will not rest on the top of your tricep. Point of contact with your head, your temple, your cheek down on the ground. 
it is just that, a point of contact. There should be almost no weight in that part of you, just a little, just for support. Use the strength in your arms to hold you up. You use your core to help twist your legs up towards the sky. So there's a big twist component as well. So if you feel like you don't find as much depth with your twist, that's okay. Something to work on for sure. So let's move on towards the end of our practice. Option one, come back into your lightning pose. Toes under your hips, knees down. Option two, we come back into toe stand. From here, we're going to move with breath through a half camel and option for the transition, you'll come back to toe stand. Option two, you'll bring the knees back down and you'll go through lightning pose. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, knees down, right hand to heel, left arm overhead, squeeze your glutes as you send your hips forward. Inhale, toe stand, ooh, or lightning pose. Exhale, knees down, left hand to heel, right arm overhead. Inhale, lightning pose or toe stand. Exhale, camel. Inhale, lightning pose or toe stand. Exhale, find that half camel. We change this time, inhale, lightning pose or toe stand. Exhale, full camel, knees down, hands to heels. Squeeze your glutes as you send your hips forward. Now, if you'd rather come into camel where you're more upright, you take your hands behind your hips and then from there you lower down, feel free. Or you can do the way I did, where your hands meet your heels, squeeze your glutes, send them forward, chest reaches to the sky. Whatever version you're in, start to come out. Untuck your toes. Toes, ankles, knees, touch, forehead down. Find yourself in rock pose. Slowly lift head, neck, and shoulders, and begin to make your way into a seat. From your seat, find yourself lying down. Left leg long, right knee into chest. Take a breath in. Exhale, twist, right knee to the left. Scoot your hips slightly right. As you roll and twist, gaze comes towards your right arm. Slowly begin to unravel, unwind, bring yourself back through center. Right leg is long, left knee into chest. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist, left knee to the right. Bump your hips slightly left as you turn your gaze towards the left as well. and slowly unwind through center. Shimmy your hips back to the middle of your mat. Extend your legs long. Palms either face up next to your hips or they can be face down on your belly. Take a slow breath in. Open mouth. One more slow inhale. Open mouth. Find natural breath as you allow your body to melt into your mat underneath you.
Start to deepen your breath. Bring some movement to your fingers and to your toes. Roll your ankles, roll your wrists, and feel your arms and legs liven. Gently rock your head from side to side. And then find stillness. Take your knees into chest. Roll off to your left or right side. Use your arm to support your head. Helpful palms press you into a comfortable seat. Hands to heart space as your eyes stay closed or soften towards the top of your mat. Take a slow inhale. Open mouth. We are not perfect. And every day we can either feel totally on it or totally off. Favor poses, least favor poses. Still dedicated and committed in all the ones that we practice. Thank you so much for joining me today, Yogi. We did excellent work today. And you know what? I get a little pat on the back too. I practice some poses that I personally don't ever practice. I have some limitations in my body when I twist. So that fallen angel pose, that's one I rarely practice. I can't quite come into and that's okay with me. It has been a lesson in the past of humbling myself. And it's been a learning experience and a journey for me to know that I won't come into the full, full expression of the pose ever, really, because of my limitations, and that's okay. I have other fun poses that I work on, and we'll get to workshop those together in just a couple of videos. Have a great day.